There it is. Is it there? There it is. Yep. Boom. The 85 1.8. Not new. Uh, nothing. No G Master. No G designation. But still one of my favorite lenses for portrait photography, travel photography, um, landscape. I, I just, I just love this lens. This is a great lens. Highly recommend it still. So 85 1.8, I, I still use this lens. This is probably one of the first lenses I bought in the Sony, Sony ecosystem. Um, it's around $600 depending. Uh, sometimes it has some specials and rebates, plus you can obviously get it a lot cheaper used. Uh, but this lens is, um, it's really, really compact. Okay, as you can see, let's uh, okay, take it off. Really kind of compact. Um, it fits on, on the Sony a7 cameras. And even if you want to go use this APS-C and get even more reach, um, this is, this is a pretty decent lens. Um, so that's one of the reasons why, oh, there we go. That's one of the reasons why I, I really like it is because I can go ahead and bring this on to an actual professional shoot, really get some good, nice tight head shots. It's, it's really sharp for, for the price. Again, I mean, the G Master, I think is still, I think it's still like close to like 1700 bucks. Um, you guys can correct me. Um, and then also the Sigma, which I know a lot of people rave about. A lot of people say really good things. The Sigma 85 1.4. That's right around 1000, 1100, depending on if there's any sales. This is still, this Sony 85 1.8, this is still half the price of the Sigma and you know, about a third of the price of, of the G Master, the 85 1.4. And again, I've never compared this myself, but I've heard people saying that this 85 1.8 is actually faster focusing than the 85 1.4 G Master. Uh, not sure what that is. I don't think it's any newer tech in here. I think maybe just smaller glass. It's just quicker to kind of move around with the motors, but still super sharp. Um, you can go ahead and check those stats out at like uh, DxO. The XL mark or that website. Um, I'll, I'll probably put the link in there as well on the comments in the video. But it is a great lens. It's a great lens. I think so. Still in 2022 for the price, um, I, it's a no-brainer. If you're looking for an 85 one point, or if you're looking for an 85, a nice prime, and you're on a budget, I, I think this is the best one. Yeah, I know there's some third parties that are cheaper. Um, can't go wrong with some of the third parties right now. Rokinon, Samyang, you know, they've got like 85, I think 1.4s that, that everyone raves about and they're really good. Um, if you are kind of like me and you'd like to kind of stay within, within the, uh, the Sony ecosystem, can't go wrong with this thing. Can't go wrong. So I just wanted to pop on. I haven't done any videos in a while, but just wanted to go ahead and just do a quick review because all the new lenses and all the the amazing glass sony glass that's out there there are some really great bargains and um, in my mind whether you're starting out or or like I me mean, you've been shooting sony for for several years now i still hold on to this um you know i've got the 51.2 the 35 g master which i'm shooting with right now i've got the 135 too if i've got more more room or to get really tight um, I also use that 135 for, for sports, um, shooting my son and doing his water polo and swimming stuff. So 
um, I'll use that for for that kind of application as well instead of getting a 70 to 200 um, or 100 to 400 so I've got great glass it's not a matter of, of me being too much on a budget I still stick with this one because of the form factor um, because I I know I get great amazing sharp images from this really tack sharp right in the eye and I just love this lens um, I, I can't justify paying twice as much um, for the Sigma uh, for the 1.4 versus the 1.8 and um, I, I definitely uh, can't justify stepping up to the 85 1.4 I mean I keep on hearing that maybe they're gonna they're gonna update that lens so I'm kind of waiting to see what they do with that but at this point with the options out there I'm good right here if I were to upgrade to anything if this were to break okay if this were to break um, I would, I would probably consider the Sigma. Um, I've heard really great things about that lens. I'd love to maybe like borrow it and try it out for a little bit and, and see um, if that's something you guys are interested in. Maybe, maybe I'll go ahead and try and grab that lens and, and give it a shot, give it a crack. So again, I think I said it plenty of times, but Sony 1.8. I'll go ahead and throw up some images too um, from some past shoots. Give you kind of an idea of, of what this uh, what this 85 1.8 can do from Sony. So, all right, peace.